Speak language into thrust. As you kneel before our Zaw, when Legend of Zelda's turn to dust. Podcasting from the future like your time was dead and gone. And we rock the best site like ComicsOnline.com. Hi, I'm Crows with Comics Online. I'm here with Michael Jonick, writer for Batman Brave and the Bold. Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good. So, um, as a writer, you get to write all those great one-liners that we see uh, Batman say throughout the series, right? Yeah, well, you know, I, I must give a lot of credit to the other producer on the show, uh, James Tucker. A lot of those one-liners come from, you know, his memories of the Adam West show. You know, I mean, like, you're sort of your first instinct when you're writing Batman is to, you know, do the little bit more serious. And, and you know, I will say this about James is he really was, you know, he, he'd watched so many Adam West shows and had so many ridiculous things. So whenever we, we got the first couple of scripts, he would say, no, no, let him say this. I'm like, that's a little absurd. Are you sure? And he's like, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, after three or four episodes, it was really clicking. And, you know, I soon learned how to write Adam West Batman one-liners. So I, I credit James with that. So what is your favorite one-liner that you have written so far? Oh, I don't know. My favorite is not one I, I've written, but it's, it's one, uh, it's... Uh, the hammers of justice are unisex right before he punches out Mrs. Manface. So uh, I think that's a pretty classic one. So what can we expect coming up on Batman Brave and the Bold that you have written? Well, we've thrown in a lot more absurd situations. Uh, oh, that should be good. Yeah, we've got a Aquaman sitcom coming up. We have a teaser, which is just a three-camera sitcom of, you know, it's got a theme song and Aquaman. And, Does uh, it have, like, the audience laugh track? Laughter has canned laughter. Black Manta is the uh, annoying neighbor. Um, so that's fun. Uh, we have an episode where the heroes and villains play baseball against each other. You know, nothing's online uh, on, at stake here. It's just yeah. a baseball game. Um, so, I mean, that's the sort of thing that appeals to me is, like, take – superheroes and put them in absurd situations but take it seriously what would you think be too absurd is there anything too absurd yeah i mean there, there's a point that the, co the comedy in the show is sort of a fine line it, and once you start stop taking uh the, the character seriously um then uh, you know the joke becomes when the joke becomes on batman then it's it's too far and we, we always try to keep batman cool and uh if we we push he's the a straight he's, man yes and you know if we put him in a baseball situation where he's playing baseball he's the hero he's got to be the hero of the game you know so it's always you know respect batman and then you can push the humor as far as you if you want so there are so many different you know uh different heroes that come in guest heroes in every episode what is your favorite hero to write for well, my favorite hero is Aquaman. Um, he was sort of based on somebody I used to work with, and uh, because his design looked exactly like this this guy, and, and every time this guy would speak, he would be so over the top. Uh, he, he, you know, how are you doing? You know, the the the, the smallest moments in the day were were just over the top. So I, 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 you know, patterned Aquaman after that, and 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 when you base a character off somebody you know it's sort of a lot easier to write for and uh you know when john dimaggio voicing him he you know just took it to another level and and whenever writers write aquaman he's the easiest character everybody like just gets him that's that's when you know like you have a good character when he's easy to write yeah. for so what are your favorite so far that for batman brave and bold uh, you know, I'm, I, I like the musical episode that we did. You Music know. Meister. Yeah. Everyone loves that one. Yeah, that one, uh, you know, we, we sort of took a risk, and we thought, you know, it, it could go horribly, horribly wrong, uh, but it was it was nice to see people embrace it. Um, Revenge of the Music Meister, possibly? Hopefully one? You know, it, it's, it's you know, the risk of uh, trying to top yourself and then not. Um, so we, we would hate to, to do another one and have it suck, which probably it would. <laughs> but, we you know, we have a lot of episodes coming up where they're, there's musical numbers and and we see some other characters so you know nice uh, thank you very much uh for joining us and stay tuned to comics online for more brave and the bold coverage from leaping tall builders to going off like gamma bombs switch your internet browser to comicsonline.com